Hello everyone, you're welcome to Floki's Den. My name is Afolake and if you're just seeing this video for the very first time, nice to have you join me on today's vlog. I share creative content that help new immigrants and those that are outbound find their footing in a new land, help them settle seamlessly, faster and easily in another country. I'm filming from Saskatoon in Saskatchewan, Canada and I'm so glad to have you join me on today's vlog. So do well to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know whenever I post another video which I do every week. Thank you so much guys for joining me. And like you can see or tell from the title of this vlog, we're talking about what loneliness really means in Canada or in the abroad. How we handle loneliness or what are the solutions that people can learn from the way we handle um, loneliness amongst us. So I'm just going to be talking based on what I see, what I hear and also my own personal experience and just help everyone to learn. So guys stick around and that's what we're going to be sharing on today's vlog. Welcome back. So like I said we're talking about loneliness in the abroad. I'm filming from Canada in Saskatoon and guys it's not easy it can be lonely but what is most important is that we should just try to engage with people so that we don't tend towards depression and that's the worst part of it i will definitely be comparing this with my home country which is nigeria and for so many reasons nigerians know how to actually have fun or engage themselves so that they are not totally lonely it doesn't mean that loneliness don't happen loneliness does not just mean that because you're staying abroad you don't have your family or your close companions near you and then it makes you feel lonely but even while we are home back in the in nigeria some people still find um, loneliness as an issue and then that also leads to depression for some but for many people that's why there's always the old and parties on saturdays that people just loosen up and just feel it's a good time for them to just let their hair down and it's also an opportunity for people to just distress from you know the business of the of the week it wasn't easy working in nigeria everyone that knows um that passed through working in nigeria understand this fact coming to canada too work is not easy so if some people probably think that because you are in Canada, it's easy, uh, there's no stress, or that things are just very light, that's not correct. And as I consider loneliness abroad, it just makes me wonder and think how people cope. What can really cause loneliness? We're used to family, we're used to friends that we gather around when we're back home. We're used to, you know, family that we always have those engagements. We always have things to do do in our home country there's always things yeah things are not in the best um, situation that we want it but guys we just find ways to have our fun and it's always a good way to really stress to to remove all the stress from us but here in canada i see that there's really not so much of you know those associations that go on because there's a lot of people that work to make sure that they are paying their bills and when i say work Canada has a, a work style in the sense that you can work 24 hours in a day. Your shift depends on how you work or where you work. It can be in the morning or in the afternoon or at night. And that makes it difficult for people to also engage with other people. For instance, if you have your partner that is on another shift from you, even that association from the home front is already broken because you see yourselves less and... It's just so tough. Using myself as an example, when we newly moved into Canada, my husband was working an afternoon shift and I had to pick up a night shift because it was also around that COVID period and the children had to do homeschooling because of COVID. There was no in-class and everybody was moved online. So they needed to settle into that new normal and it was a bit of guidance that they need for them to do that. So I needed to be home with them during the day so i picked up a night shift and for me and my husband worked 2 p.m to 10 p.m and i will start work from like 10 p.m to calculate the eight hours guys it was crazy and it was just 
you know, on and on and on like that. It was so much of coming in and it was just the gap in between when we met, it was so slim before I moved on to my own shift. And when I get back home in the morning, I am so tired, I am sleeping. And while I'm still turning <laughs> in bed, he's getting ready to go to work. So guys, it was the craziest of times. And this can cause loneliness because you don't have anybody to talk to. If he goes to work, maybe during his break, and I'm already, you know, just busy with home chores, trying to get the children settled into school, trying to get them you know, get to do other things in the house. It was such a crazy period for us. And then I made up my mind that, look, I something better has to just come out of all of this. If you're also in Canada alone, it's also, you know, being depressed or moving into a state of loneliness is also there. If you don't consciously find means to engage with other people, um, if you stay alone and you don't associate much, if you don't find healthy relationships whereby you can associate. If you're coming from a busy city like Lagos, Saskatoon is not that busy. And people, although they dread that busy lifestyle in Lagos, they felt that coming to Saskatoon was a better option to, you know, give them that kind of balance. But if you get really used to that busyness, or craziness that happened in Lagos, Nigeria. Saskatoon just gives you something else that makes you desire for more, feeling like what is next. For some, they settled well, but for others, it's still a difficult situation. And that is why for some people, they just find ways in which to combat this loneliness. Some people spend, you just find out that they just go shopping without budgeting, and they begin to buy things that they don't need. For me, when I feel lonely or when I feel that I need to do something, that's when I start rearranging the deck. It actually brings out the creativeness in me because I also like to put things together as an interior designer. So it just makes me start looking for ideas, searching for new uh, designs, and then makes me want to see how I can better change a situation to something better. Um, so that's, a, that, that's actually what um, loneliness makes for me. But sometimes I like to, actually I'll call it being quiet and being lonely because I like to be on my own. Sometimes I just feel that, look, I need that peace of my, it's not all the time that you just need the higgy hagger around you. Sometimes you just need to be quiet. You want to watch your movie in your room. You don't want anybody to come knocking on your door to say hi, you just want to be alone and because i also work from home when i have the children go to school or sometimes i take a day off i'm home my husband is off is at work my son is at work my daughter is in school i just love being me in the house i just love being me because it's quiet it's serene it's good for me to do stuff without anybody's interference in in whatever i'm doing and just it just helps me to really think and refocus on the things that I want to do. That's what loneliness does for me, actually. But I'm talking of the, the loneliness that goes so in-depth that people do stop because it can, it can bring out so many negative vibes um, in, in, in other people. When you're moving into a new land, if you're single, try and find associations with people that you know have like minds or that you can relate with that you find common things, you know, to do together and will help you, you know, in your journey so that you're not just alone, thinking alone, wandering alone, because an I do mind is a devil's workshop. So don't be that I do mind that the devil will find useful. And if you're also married, sometimes I see families that move with just the wife and the children and the husband stays back on his shuttles or it can even be the husband that came in with the children and then the wife shuttles before they eventually settle. I'm personally not supportive of that. I believe that families should move and live together um, for whatever reason. If there's anything that will want to hinder the movement, they should just deal with it so that one person does not move. 
and then the other person even while you both are here guys the the country that you are moved in is also contributing to what will cause loneliness so don't make it worse by coming alone and leaving your spouse in that um, dilemma we all came from wherever country that we moved out from and we're now settling into knowing people it's like starting all over again finding new relationships finding who you can you know walk around with our friends we have our childhood friends uh, you know people that we've grown up together with that we know ourselves and what to expect from them but now everybody being adults coming into another land you're just being careful with the kind of friendships that you are having so you don't overstep you're trying to build as a relationship and then see how it can re re resonate into something better um, so doing that is also very um, expensive for so many people so they take their time to build those relationships and then you see them just sitting in their homes and you know nothing moves the weather is also not a good factor because the seasons are just so confusing even though sometimes we say like for instance we're in spring but it's raining or it's showering like I would call it and in other parts it's still snowing whether that you cannot totally just say this is what you expect today the forecast is saying something and then you know it's just so confusing and those are things that also can affect you being so moody cause loneliness for you and you're just finding you know someone that is comfortable with you that you can actually have a chat with what i would also encourage people to do is look just look out for what works for you try not to stay alone don't be alone if you live alone find somebody that you can always chat with talk to call share ideas share thoughts so you can always rob minds it's not good to be alone um don't let the devil use you as a workshop like i mentioned if you are lonely then you can ideas that spring up might not be positive ideas if you don't guard your thoughts very well um some people also use loneliness to spend people spend without thinking so they feel i'm lonely let me just go out go sightsee they go to the stores and then they begin to spend and when they are back in their senses they've spent so much yes in canada you can return when you buy but yeah they are still in that possession mood because they want something that they do not have and they just keep that thing even though it wasn't bought because they actually needed it they just wanted comfort they wanted solace they wanted like a companion and they feel when they buy things it becomes like a companion to them or helps them to just soothe them better because they just have something new to look at guys you need to be careful as well otherwise you'll be, you'll be spending so much that you feel you can afford you don't those things are just temporary they will kill that loneliness for just that temporary basis and then in another week you're back to square one so find a human being that you can rap with that you can chat with that you can share ideas with so that you don't feel so lonely and what we actually do as friends here with um so friends that we identified ourselves with we found ourselves when we newly came we actually knew ourselves from nigeria from the whatsapp group that we had um that we created for new immigrants um when we're planning or just working on applications and we're trying to share what our progresses were it was a good opportunity for us to meet here we never met in nigeria even though i think i met one person she's in regina and I now moved to um manitoba I met her when we went to pick our own um, passport at the Canadian Embassy. Um, other people are in the group, some of them are here, some in Regina, some in other provinces. You, but for those that are in Saskatoon locally, we've been able to meet you know, from that group and we've helped ourselves along the way. It's a journey that continues because as more people are landing, we are there to support, to guide, to assist and to also encourage and let them know the things um, that we actually have done wrong and that's what actually inspired me to start this vlog apart from me wanting to journal our own experiences as a new immigrant but i know that some people also have come to be abroad with set mind and says they don't want friendships like they had in nigeria they don't want associations like they have in nigeria 
everything that you decide is good as long as you're making the right decision or the right choices it's all good we're all adults nobody teaches anybody what to do but we should just be mindful of ourselves when we have those relationships some people just block everybody away from themselves that is not a good thing to do because it also does not bring good things back to yourself because if you shield others that means you are shielding things that are coming back to you you find ideas you find help you find uh, counsel you are good enough to be able to sift within all these things but don't block people away some people can come with all their excesses but look i believe that we need to find ways in which to discern what or how to address one person or how to relate with the other person so that everybody just feels okay you the last thing is for you to find your friend or your brother or your sister in quote drifting into depression it is not a good thing to do so guys let's help ourselves and let's build meaningful relationships let's help ourselves in any way we can so that we can we can just make sure that living abroad is also like a family for ourselves we can be africans we can be jamaicans we can be indians we can be chinese it doesn't matter we are all immigrants in this land so that means we are all from various places we have all come here so we can build meaningful relationships and just be good um, neighbors and friends and brothers and sisters to one another so let's look at this so that we can combat loneliness it's not good to go into depression or being too alone as many of you that are drifting towards that please watch it and look for the signs um it's just a short conversation and i hope this has been helpful if you are yet to subscribe to my channel do hit that subscribe button and turn the notification bell on Tell me what else you want to hear from me from this channel i share so many insightful things for you and now that the weather is good i promise to do more outdoor blogging so that we can have more things to see outside saskatoon see what we can actually vlog you know just see things around the city before the snow chases us back indoors thank you guys for watching see you again in another vlog bye guys